Hello kindergarten friends. We have been talking about the five senses and today you are going to make an artwork that tells a story about one of your five senses. So it might be a story about a time when you used your sense of touch or it might be a story about a time when you used your sense of hearing. It might be a story about a time when you used your sense of smell. It might be a story about a time when you used your sense of taste. Or it might be a time when you uh, used your sense of sight, when you saw something. So today you get to choose which sense you are going to create your drawing about. It could be maybe you smelled your mother's cooking. Maybe she made a really delicious pizza and it smelled really good. Or it could be a time when you saw someone do something really cool like draw an awesome picture. Or maybe you tasted something that was just delicious like a nice cold ice cream on a hot day. Or maybe you, you had fun touching the sand in the sandbox or some Play-Doh. So you get to decide what story you want to tell about one of your five senses. And then you are going to draw it. So when you are drawing your picture, you need to make sure you include yourself. When you're drawing yourself, you need to make sure you have all of the parts of your body. So I'm going to do just a quick example to show you to make sure you have all the parts of your body. So you need to draw your head. Remember we talked about heads are kind of an oval shape. You need to make sure you have your neck. And then you're going to draw your shoulders and your stomach. And then you can draw your arms. arm on each side and don't forget those elbows. And then you're going to draw your legs and don't forget the knees, your legs bend a little. And then don't forget, some people always forget their feet, so you need to draw your feet and your hands with the fingers on it and your other hand with fingers on it. We have all five of our fingers. And then you need to draw your face, your ears, your eyes just like we drew in our pictures yesterday. your nose and your mouth and then don't forget your hair I have kind of curly hair so I'm making mine curly and then after you do that you can add your clothes maybe I'm gonna wear a t-shirt And I wear dresses a lot, so maybe I'll make a skirt on mine. Whoops. And then you get to draw the rest of your story. So I can draw, maybe I'm standing, so I'm going to draw my floor. Oops, I drew a little inside my leg. I have to erase that. I made a little mistake. I fixed it. And then I think I'm going to draw a piece of pizza in my hand. Because mine's going to be about a time when I had a delicious piece of pizza. We made homemade pizza at my house one time, and it was so delicious. So I'm going to draw a piece of pizza with some vegetables on it in my hand. Okay. And then you can add other details around it. Maybe I could draw a table or chairs or something like that. So you're going to decide what your story is about. It needs to have you in the story and tell about one of your five senses, a time when you use one of your five senses. All right, kindergartners, go ahead and get to work. <laughs> 